Scientists have identified not only the bones of a new dinosaur in southern Missouri, but also may have found a dinosaur hotbed. The newly identified duck-billed dinosaur, named Parasaurus missouriensis, grew to about 35 feet in length as an adult. Various dinosaur bones have been found at the dig site over the last eight decades, but now enough have been collected to make certain that a new genus and species had been discovered. Just more than a month ago, researchers removed the dinosaur's body. It was enormous, almost the size of a Volkswagen, said Guy Darrow, curator of the St. Genevieve Museum Learning Center in Sweet. Genevieve, Missouri. The discovery is like hitting King Tut's tomb, said Darrow, who first began working at the site four decades ago. I can't think of another discovery that would be bigger than dinosaurs in Missouri. The finding also adds to scientists' knowledge of the ecology of the Western Interior Seaway, a body of water that divided North America more than 70 million years ago. While the majority of dinosaur finds have been in western states, this site in southern Missouri, it would have been on the seaway's eastern shore, has been yielding finds for decades. About 80 years ago at the site, scientists found the first dinosaur bones there, they were suspected to be the remains of a large sauropod, a plant-eating dinosaur, Dara said. Charles Gilmore, a paleontologist at the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History, looked at the bones and, along with Dan Stewart of the Missouri Geological Survey, wrote a paper on the dinosaur, which became known as Parasaurus missouriensis, according to the Bollinger County, Mo. Museum of Natural History. Another cache of bones, a skeleton of what they learned was a juvenile dinosaur and a dinosaur jaw with teeth, was found in the 1980s, after geologist Bruce Stinchcomb bought the property. Those bones suggested the dinosaur was not a sauropod but actually a hadrosaur, or duckbill dinosaur. Hadrosaurs have long been considered herbivores, but some findings in recent years suggest they might have eaten crustaceans, either opportunistically or accidentally.